Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today with Gone with Rob, we're gonna put the crossbars on the roof rack with the stock model of a 2014 Buick Enclave. But anyway, in those rails, you're gonna have little slides. And I've unpacked the box, like I said, and I've got some parts already started up top, but I'm gonna walk you through this. All right, now your instructions are here and what's all included in this kit. Here, here's the slide. You're gonna have two on each side. And as you can see on here, you're gonna see, let me see if I can get some sunlight on that. There you go. This is LH, so that's the left-hand side. You're gonna have two of those. Left-hand side will always be the driver's side. And then in the hardware pack, you're gonna have some uh, torques, bolts, and you're gonna have these little slide-in metal pieces that kind of pinch this is what's going to hold it in place but these little pieces will fit in these little grooves so you just put them in there just be aware sometimes when you go to put this in it's going to flop forward and that'll stop it from sliding so always keep it in like that and then the package also includes this allen Torx screw a uh, little five six star but anyway you get all that provided so so anyway, with that set up, you can load all four of those, bring your parts over to the top of your vehicle, lay them across. Uh, your uh, crossbars, one is actually longer than the other. That one goes in the front, the shorter one will go in the back. It looked like they adjust, but they do not. Um, they will slide, but once we secure it down, they're not moving anywhere. So I thought you would have to tighten the screws at the width, but that's not necessary. Okay, once we got the slides ready to install, we're gonna, I've moved everything up to the top of the vehicle at this time. But uh, again, you're just gonna remove that other cap. I'm on the right side now. So as you can see, this is already off the tabs. Uh, it's just a good snug little fit. And all you have to do is just kind of work it and just pull and pull back and it'll come off. Uh, you could use a plastic pry bar. I wouldn't use a screwdriver because it'll probably mar up some of the uh, aluminum chrome looking trim but uh, once we get that we're ready to slide in the uh, the slider and again on those little metal tabs that you inserted the first one's no problem but if the tab slides in towards the car it'll jam up and it won't go in so you just kind of keep it straight and lined up and it'll go in fine all right let me move this out the way and we'll get this started as you can see I have my tabs try to make this where you can see the top right here you're gonna see an arrow and that's going to the front of the car it's right here on this lower part you can see an arrow there and that little metal tab is on the top side and the back one too but it just starts in right there where are we at here just come in here and it slides in a little groove in a little track and just move that along it, it, it wanted to lean forward that little tab i'll show you here what i'm talking about so you can see this little tab right here just hold that back and slide it in and it'll clear and then you can let go but anyway on the top of these you have a little tab also and that's going to line up with your uh crossbar it'll, and i'll show you how to do that now i'm doing the right side first because it has a slide uh, on the crossbar to make sure the width is correct. Now I thought you would have to tighten those down to stop that from sliding, but that's not the case. They were pretty tight. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what bolts to use next. Uh, while you're up here, you do have your chrome cap and that'll be one of the last things. Some of the hardware. Okay, we're ready to install now. See, I've got it lined up on the other side. Now this side adjusts, so what I'm looking for here is on the slider. It's a little tab right here. Uh, where are you at? There you are. Anyway, this little tab is on the slider and it's gonna match up with the slot on the crossbar. So what you're gonna do, it's gonna, I've got it on the other side already. I didn't screw it in yet, but it's just fitted into the hole. This roof is hot, so be careful. So we're gonna kind of extend this out to where it lines up with that tab and that 
that slot. This is for the larger screw. And in the front here, you have a hole that will uh, be for the longer screw. And then your uh, twist knob will go into the back part of that. So here we go. As you can see the difference in the sizes, the longer and skinnier one will go into this front hole right, right here. I'm gonna turn this camera. But if you find that hole right there, and that's gonna line up with that slider hole. And that little piece in there is gonna help keep that in line. So you could take this uh, wrench. It's a T25 Torx that comes with the kit. If you happen to have one on a ratchet, that might help you too. We're gonna just uh, secure this down. Now I'm starting on the passenger side, the right side, because that's where the slider part was. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let me see. Okay, so once that is installed in the front hole, you've got the hole here. You're gonna take your cap and it's gonna fit right across here on that slide. You can see you've got the holes lined up now. Everything looks nice and neat. Take the larger screw and it goes right on down in there and you can start that. Again, take the uh, T25. Get that going. Crank that down. Okay, once you get that tightened down, we're gonna take the knob, and there's a hole in the back here. So what we're gonna do now is take this uh, twisting bolt, hang on. We're gonna take this twisting bolt and it's gonna go right in here, in this area right here. Oops. And that's gonna allow that to be tightened down to where it doesn't slide. Now I'm gonna tighten this one down and then I'll probably move over to the other side and finish up. Moving over to the driver's side now. Again, you got the little tab and then the slot and that will just, oh, there you go, it lines up. And then you're going to take the skinny one. And again, if you mix these up, take take one bolt. If it slides down in there and doesn't secure, that's the wrong bolt. It'll go to the front. So we're going to secure that down to the front. And each each uh, slider in the bar is, is going to be the same thing. So once we secure that down. Next step would be to get the cap. And on the caps underneath, you got an RH and an LH. And that'll tell you which one. The left hand side is always going to be the driver's side. Torque on this to secure it down. There is no hole in the front, so that covers that bolt, and you have this one access for the tab. Again, next up would be the bigger of the screw, and that holds your cap down. Be careful not to cross thread. We'll strip those out, make sure it fits flush. There we go. Sandwiches down. With that trim piece and the tab piece comes in all right now if you could tell when you got that in and if it's not secured this will slide once you're in you crank this down and that pitches those little plates along that rail and you see it does not move now so when you secure your car carrier on top of that you're going to be good to go we're gonna move to the back and then uh, I'm gonna pick up once I finish up the back we'll uh, put 
put the caps on and I'll come back during that time. Thank you. All right, so as you can see, we've got the back bar installed. So all that's left to do is replace the uh, end pieces of the clamps. And the way you do that is you have these tabs. I don't know if you can see right there, the tabs line up with these little tabs here. Basically, you're just gonna fit that out and kind of line up the uh, gasket that goes around the car. And then you're just gonna kind of slide forward, forward, and then snap right in. And what I would do too is once you're done with this tool, go ahead and put it in your glove box so that way you have it accessible if you need adjustments or anything. And check your bolts every once in a while uh, in case anything came loose uh, after your trip or during the trip would probably be better. But I uh, appreciate y'all checking me out here on the YouTube. I hope this helps somebody. And uh, if you give a thumbs up and a like, subscribe. Plenty of other things coming. I'm trying to stay more active on this channel. So uh, y'all have a good day.